Hello, it's Ilya from VWorks team. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with V1.1 and later versions. I have two machines here that had just been provisioned with a Linux base image that includes Docker. Firstly, I am installing V using instructions from the docs. Download it into user local bin using curl and set executable permission on it. Same on both machines. Next, I will launch all VivNet and run services. Here I have native host level DNS provided for me, so I can simply type Viv launch Viv02, which is the host name of the second machine. Then I will run Viv launch Viv01 on the other machine. Now the Viv cluster is fully connected and I will have Viv DNS for simple container discovery as well as Docker API proxy, which will allow me to use Docker run command directly. Next, I will need to set Docker host environment variable for which there is a command vivenv. So I have to eval vivenv on each of the machines. Done with the setup. Let's clear the output on both machines. Now I'm all set to run some containers. Here on the first host, I will run a netcat server named hello using plain Ubuntu image, really nothing special. Server will listen on port 1234 and will print messages to the standard output. And on the other host, I'll run an interactive container to test the server. For this, I want to use same Ubuntu image. First, I'll ping the server Great, that worked. Let's just send it a message. Hello, Viv. Pipe it into Netcat. Hostname. Hello, port 1234. Great, that worked. Thank you for watching. Do make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, at VivWorks. Bye.